You know something? This is a friendly reminder that basketball can be a really simple game sometimes. The Phoenix Suns capped off a 45-point first quarter with a Grayson Allen buzzer beater. And serious question, you guys, was that the Phoenix Suns' best first quarter of the season so far? Because it sure seemed like it. This was a back-and-forth game full of runs. I kind of felt like the Phoenix Suns had a sloppy third quarter, and that's going to happen because the Lakers did pick up the defensive intensity. It seemed like every once in a while they go like on an 8-0 run. The Suns kind of like ran out of energy and couldn't hit the shots every once in a while, but that's going to happen. But with that being said, Phoenix Suns fans, even though they did struggle to hold on to the lead, and that's something that the Phoenix Suns you know, tend to do a lot this season. Unfortunately, they they can't seem to hold on to big leads. It did seem like they never really let it get too out of control. I think at one point the score was like 94 to 88 or something like that. And then the Suns would go like on a 10-0 run and they are up by 10 points or something like that. So they, the Suns did a good job of kind of not letting this game get too out of control. And you guys, this was one of the best team efforts of the season and that is an understatement i don't know if kevin durant was taking shots at charles barkley after the game but he was talking to the reporter and he said that you know the phoenix suns leadership helped won this game and he said this a couple of times that the phoenix suns got stops like i said basketball can be really simple you guys let's talk about the stats here Grayson Allen had 24 points, 6 for 12 from 3. Devin Booker had 21, 9 assists, 8 for 18 from the field. Kevin Durant had 22, 7, and 5. And Yusuf Nurkic had arguably his best game of the season. He was absolutely incredible tonight against Anthony Davis. 18 points, 22 rebounds. If I'm correct, the Phoenix Suns rebounding record is 27 set by Tyson Chandler. Yusuf Nurkic had 22 rebounds tonight to go along with seven assists, was just really aggressive, really physical, did his absolute best against Anthony freaking Davis. Oh, and not to mention Yusuf Nurkic was seven for 12 from tonight. Royce O'Neal, 20 points, 10 rebounds, six for 10 shooting. Grayson Allen and Royce O'Neal combined for 12 threes by themselves. Absolutely incredible. And big shout out to Bull Bull. Bull Bull tonight, 11 points, four rebounds, two blocks, just continues to stay aggressive, taking advantage of the minutes. And it's just another threat out there. He was absolutely awesome tonight. And what I noticed was that Frank Vogel was doing a good job of keeping Bull Bull in there throughout you know an extended period of time and just really trusting him with those minutes. So shout out to Bull Bull. And I saw a tweet about Bull Bull that over his last three games, he's averaging 15 points per game, 7.7 rebounds, 1.7 blocks on 70% true shooting in just 21 and a half minutes per game. Bull Bull. The Phoenix Suns attempted 43 pointers tonight. 43s and they hit 17 of them good enough for 42 and a half percent if the phoenix suns can launch at least 35 or 40 of those or more a night they are probably going to win a lot of ball games we just got to get those threes up 40 should be the number each and every single night you know what i mean phoenix suns fans but 42 and a half percent is absolutely incredible and like i said royce o'neill and grace and allen by themselves had 12 threes it was awesome the phoenix suns won the rebounding battle tonight 51 to 34 but really the key number there is 14 offensive rebounds 14 offensive boards for the phoenix suns that's usually a category that the suns will lose a lot also 32 assists i cannot say this enough phoenix suns fans anytime your team has 30 or more assists you're probably going to win the game or at least be in the game Uh, you know, down the stretch and everything. The Phoenix Suns did have 15 turnovers. You want to clean that up a little bit, but in all fairness, the Lakers had 12 uh, turnovers and the Phoenix Suns had nine blocks. And I'll give credit to the Lakers' big five or whatever. You know, they did their thing out there, but they really didn't have much bench help. LeBron and Anthony Davis did all they could, despite Anthony Davis having kind of a rough first half. But it just wasn't enough as the Phoenix Suns get the win. This was a team win, sort of a much-needed win with just 24 games left in the regular season. It's crazy to to, to think like we are like in, in the final stretch 
of the regular season. This season has flown by, but it is it has been a roller coaster, you guys. 24 games left. Woo! So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. You guys, do me a huge favor. Get active in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And if you guys don't mind, I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys. I have 5,000 followers on Twitter now, and I really do appreciate it. I also recognize that I have 2,000 followers on Instagram. And speaking of these numbers and everything, I believe at the time of this recording, I'm like 26 like subscribers away from 9,000 thousand on this channel we are so close to nine thousand and i am extremely grateful for all of those subscribers but the real milestone is 10k subscribers so do me a huge favor you guys hulk smash that like button share this video tell people about sons geek and make sure to subscribe because we are on the road to 10k subscribers and once again, you guys, I am extremely grateful for each and every single one of you. All my social media links are down below in the description, and I truly do appreciate you guys. I cannot say that enough. So with that being said, my name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Win or lose Phoenix Suns for life, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Suns. Suns Geek, appreciate it.